Ah, schoolies. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for making memories and running amok. I mean, making mistakes and ruining my life a little bit. That's taught me more than algebra ever did. But for all the things that we regulate and get PC about in this country, we have no issue at all sending thousands of underage school kids to surf this fucking paradise to wipe 12 years of education, clean out the fucking window with a few bottles of Little Fat Lamb. But it's nice in a way. Not often you get to step back in time. All these year 12s, they get to revert back to their preschool days. I mean, look at them. Shitting and pissing themselves one last time before life chews them up. It's kind of beautiful. I mean, by rights, they all should have packed nappies and bibs just to make life a bit easier. I suppose it's a good lesson on what's to come. I mean, trust me, I know. Once you leave the nest, no one's gonna be there anymore to wipe the shit out of your ass and rub your head. You're on your fucking own now. Also, I really don't understand the concept of sending them all to a nightclub district where they can only be served lemonade anyway and let them just get drunk on the street. I mean, wouldn't it be better just to send them to a beach far away from everyone where they can just wipe themselves out in peace? Oh, my kids aren't drinking. They're there to see the sights and have a little fun. Really, Susan? Come on. Trust me, mate, you want your kids drinking at schoolies because if they were sober for all that shit, they'd lose complete respect for humanity. And for all the anxiety that everyone's supposed to have these days, they're looking pretty confident, to be honest. I take my hat off to anyone that volunteers as a support worker for those few weeks. I mean, a lot of those Red Frog staffers, they must come out of deployment with a thousand yard stare. I mean, I can just imagine them poor buggers getting PTSD triggers from the high-pitched squeals of a drunk teenager crying drunk over Dylan rooting her best friend on the balcony. Christ, that McDonald's must have made a fortune. I mean, why do we have a watermelon shortage? Should be fucking potatoes, shouldn't it? Anyone working in that McDonald's there should get some kind of hazard pay and battle bonus. I mean, dealing with an endless horde of confused and hungry 17-year-olds, I mean, that's the closest thing to the Western Front you can get, I reckon. Oh, and these toolies. Why any adult would want to be down there amongst that chaos is beyond me. But I know one thing, if you're a grown man hanging around surface for those few weeks trying to get amongst it, it looks fucking sus, mate. Leave them alone. Top of us small fellas, but we're hanging on the way you told.